can help me walk? I'm Mark Ramsey. I'm an Audi e-pilot. I was uh, given a car for the last three months, an Audi A3 e-tron, to drive and uh, to try it out and see how it fit my lifestyle. I have a passion for cars. I'm a car enthusiast and I like these iconic collector eclectic cars. It's like a regular A3. It's pure electric. It's pure electric. It's full on torque. Full on. Yeah. It's like 0 to 60 in 10, 11 seconds. Yeah. New cars are great, but I think old cars, um, there's, there's a lot more of a story behind them. This is a 1973 Volkswagen Super Beetle. Uh, my grandmother purchased this new. It uh, means a lot to me. This is a 68 Vespa GT. It's awesome fuel economy. At one point I used it uh, for a daily driver about five years ago for a year. Um, I would fill it up about once every three weeks. Despite the car enthusiast interest that I have, I think I'm actually a very typical household in how we use cars. I've done everything with the car. I drop my kids off to school, pick them up. I drive it to work every day. Today I picked up some two by fours. I found my life's pretty predictable. E-tron, it fits perfectly. I thought it was gonna be a challenge not having the completely flexible gas car, but it hasn't been an issue at all. I have two young daughters. They seem proud that we're driving this car. I think they sense that it's a good thing. It doesn't make any smoke and it is really good for the environment and birds really like the environment. Hey, a glass apple. What will my kids be driving when they're 16? They won't be driving a 1968 Vespa, for sure. In the future, I could absolutely imagine them driving an electric car. We can't just keep doing the same things what we've been doing. We've got to get smarter. Something like an e-tron and electric cars of the future makes, makes a lot of sense.